Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is my channel all about budgeting, cosplaying, and I do cash stuffing as my method of keeping track and trying to pay off my debt. So I created a travel binder based off of anime conventions, everything that I would need in it. And if you have been following me for a little while, I just finished going to a convention called Holiday Matsuri. And I had such a fun time and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a separate vlog, if I have enough um, fit with it. If not, it'll be in the title um, if I'm adding it to here at the end of the video. But right now we are going to talk about how my budget went and I also have my budget sheet. I pay no attention to what's on the side here. I completely forgot that to insert this into the beginning, but I just want to thank everyone who was there opening day for my uh, Etsy new Etsy shop, and I appreciate you guys so much. Just a little bit of a heads up. At the end of this week, I will be changing my YouTube name to Cosplay Girl Budgets. Uh, the same as my Etsy shop. And I also changed already my Instagram handle to Cosplay Girl Budgets so that everything could be cohesive. So hopefully you see this before I do it and there is no confusion. But I just want to give you guys a heads up. And if you're interested in checking out my shop, it's always linked down below. And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope that everyone who ordered from me so far enjoys their savings challenges. So I have my original budget anime convention budget sheet from Sav Budgets over on her Etsy and this is my original plan and we will see how much I actually uh, stuck to it. So for my convention badge I did uh, 120 110. My hotel was 250. My noms and sips, which is food and drinks, is 100. Transport, I had 277. 207 was for my plane ticket, and 70 was just if I did checked bags. And then for a dealers and artist room, I did $100, and miscellaneous was 30. So this was what I originally did for my convention budget and I ended up um, achieving all of the goals and I did have a little bit extra for my spending money which was hundred and twenty five dollars so let's take a look and here so I did unstuff quite a bit from in here already I took out my convention badge that was the same price I already prepaid for it so I was just saving money to pay myself back so that was fine and then here we go so my hotel was originally 250 there's three of us so we split it three ways it's supposed to be 250 but with uh, it didn't include taxes and uh, the resort fee so it ended up being two hundred and ninety dollars for the hotel so I do owe myself forty dollars and then for our noms and sips, I definitely went over. Um, the prices are a little bit more expensive than I remembered. Also, I decided to buy drinks in my for me and my friends. So that was like $100 right off the bat for um, the drinks that we had, which... I did this little challenge thing for a pin and it was definitely not worth spending that much money but it was surely a fun time and I will show you that uh, a little later when I go into what I bought from the convention. So I do owe myself 128 and what the money I have in here should be 100 and I'm going to be depositing this. So altogether I spent $228 in food and drinks alone. I think. I would have been a little bit better off if I didn't uh, decide to feel like a big baller and buy my friend a drink um, every time I bought myself a drink. But you know what? We live and we learn. So 
I owe myself $128 for my noms and sips. So you have 50, 70, 90, 95, and 100. And so this 100 is going to go back to the bank to pay myself off. And then, let's see, our next category is transport. I did only bring a carry-on bag, so that saved me so much money. Uh, it was $35 each way for a checked bag. So the only thing that I took out of transport was for the Uber um, the first night to get to the hotel. Luckily, my friend um, that, that lived in Florida decided that he would be able to drive me back to the airport coming home. So that was a saving grace because I definitely wouldn't have had enough money in my transport. So um, it came out to 52 and change and I just rounded it up to 53. So leftover in transport, we have 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. Um, <clears throat> I will probably, I'm going to take out this money and it's, you'll see what I do with it in a moment. So transport's empty now. And then for our dealers and artists room, I also just could not help myself because there was so many cute things. And I think what did me in was just, you know, having a little bit uh, of no self-control. So I did end up using my credit card for three purchases. And so it came out to be 168 that I owe myself. And as you can see, I did end up taking the cash with me. So the cash has been spent 125 and then plus the 168 so in total I spent mm, like 293 ish dollars almost $300 which is way over my budget and um, you'll I'll tell you after we go through the whole thing what my plan is to pay myself back on these things and then in our miscellaneous I still have the $30. I didn't end up using it, so I'm going to put that to the side. And then that's it for my categories. So first off, I'm going to be paying off the what I owe on the hotel. So from the leftover. So I have 20, 30, and 40. So that's going to go back to paying my card. And then we have 5, 6, and 7 left. And 7 is going to go to... So I can get rid of this one. The seven dollars, I'm putting it in the bank, but I'm gonna mark off which one is it? I'm gonna bring this down to 161. 161. So now I owe myself an artist in dealers, 161, and um in our in our noms and sips. So let's see how much we owe myself. Where's my calculator? Okay, so we owe 128 for food and plus 161. So that's a total of $289 that I technically went over. So I will, the, the way I'm going to be paying this back is since I have three paychecks this um, December, most of majority of my paycheck is going to go back to paying off the credit card. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have been overspending a lot this month and I think it's because I had the mindset that I do have my third paycheck, but I think I went a little overboard. Um, so I don't recommend it and you know, this is a journey and I'm learning every day and now I know that I like to spend more on food and merchandise and so I'll budget a lot more. The reason why I budgeted so little is because I only had, I believe I put it down here, I only had four paychecks in order to um, save up enough money for the December con. For the fe next one, the February convention, I have been saving up this, like basically this whole year, I have my box savings challenge, which I'm going to be emptying out um, in my last quarterly update, as well as the mini binder from Unique Life, and that's a 25-week challenge, and I should be able to finish it before 
um, the convention along with my regular paycheck and I should be a lot better off for my February convention. So these are learning experiences. I know that I do have a little bit of an impulse buy kind of mentality and it's something I'm working on but you can't always you can't always win but I do have a plan to pay it back and that's what matters. I'm not just going to let it accumulate onto my credit card and um, make more debt for myself. So that's my plan for the anime convention. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, uh, no, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 46, and 47. So 147 is going to go back onto my credit card to pay off the little the extras and I'm going to be pulling the money from my third paycheck and it's probably going to be a little bit of a smaller stuffing as I said I was I've been overspending a lot in December just like things coming up with family events and um, I've had to buy a little bit more groceries than I anticipated so I did go over in a lot of my categories which I'll definitely um, talk about more in my next cash stuffing which um, should be soon. I'm hoping I can get it out um, at some point this week. And then, yeah, so that's a little bit of announcements. But let's get into the fun part, which is what I got from the convention. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of happy mail. So I'll do that first. So I did get the Gamer Girl keychain from Macarla May. It was a limited time um, buy, and she also sent it included free stickers, which are super cute. They're Ariel themed, so I'm obsessed with her Gamer Girl design. So I have to figure out where to put this, but I love it so much. And then this package comes from Mystic Budgets, and I know I was telling you guys about the. Um, challenge that she has for the new year which is quarterly so I'm very very excited to start it she included a you could make a wish or you could make it happen it's like a really cute little note book and I'll probably end up using this uh, I like to as you can see this is my little cheat sheet I like to write all my numbers out uh, it just helps me like keep track of everything so this will definitely help with that and then she also included a pen so cute so that's that and then this is the the weekly challenge and so you kind of um, can decorate it yourself she included stickers and take it out so this is one of the stickers so there's week one week two week three and week four and five and that's just to correspond with the week so this will happen every quarter for every month and it is called time flies and here are the I can get that one out here are some of the stickers they're all like beautiful butterflies hopefully my camera is picking that up but I can't wait to decorate um, all of the envelopes with these beautiful beautiful butterflies oh and there's some flowers too so I would look forward to doing that. And then it also includes this um, envelope and for you to put in your cash envelopes and a tracker to uh, keep track of what you've put in each envelope. And then these are like a bonus to put into your envelope if you have extra cash. So this is called Time Flies and the reason why it is called that is you're supposed to look at the clock when you're doing your budget and add up the numbers and that's what you would stuff into your weekly envelopes and then at the end of the year you'll you will save uh, an amount of money it's kind of like a surprise and I can't wait to see how much that's gonna be so that'll be fun um, I don't know if I'll, I'll end up counting it every quarter but I'm super excited to start this Let's get into the con goodies. So this one is 
a beautiful coaster. And this one is by Witchy Darko Art. And this is the business card. And it also gives you care instructions. And then this is the coaster. It's indented so that way your cup doesn't slide around. And then it's got felt on the back so that it doesn't slide. I thought it was so pretty and of course you know me with Sailor Moon and anything like that. So I really liked it. Uh, it was handmade by the artist. So you might see this in my video from time to time. Maybe not there because there's a glare. But there's that. And then I'll show you... I guess I'll show you this one first. I have to fix it because it kind of broke on me. But it's a really cute little resin Sailor Moon clip. And it's for the hair. It's got a nice little clippy. And I, I loved it so much. And it's kind of unique. I never really see stuff like this. So I, wanted, I picked up that. And then I also picked up from the same artist. I don't know if I have... Hopefully I have the cards. I might not. No, nope, I don't. <laughs> I'll figure out. If I do figure it out, I'll put it on the screen. But from this artist, I got this really cute Princess Peach sticker and also this Magical Girl cereal box. I thought it was like really cute and it's holographic. And then I got this keychain for Taurus and I really love the poppy flower, so I thought it was so beautiful. And it's made out of wood, and it's made by the artist. I did buy a lot of stuff from the artist alley. I do like to support artists more than the merchants because I know how hard it is to sell your stuff. And then this one is also from the same company that did the clip. And it's Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. And then this one, I don't know if anyone knows what uh, Soul Eater, but it is from. Okay, hopefully, I don't rip this. This is the name of the, the artist. And then I got all three of the um, Soul Eater characters. So this is Soul and it's cool because on the opposite side it has um, a different style. And the same thing, this is Maka and that's her. And then I also got, his name is Death the Kid and then that's the back. So pretty cool. I got a lot of keychains. I couldn't resist. And then I got this one from Fresh Casserole Artist, and it's Raven from Teen Titans. Let's see. I also collected a lot of um, car business cards because sometimes I really like the art, but I just can't afford it. <laughs> so I do like to revisit it. So this is the badge that... Uh, I got I received to walk around in the convention you have to have this badge on in order to be a part of the convention this just shows that you've paid and then this is the lanyard it's really pretty and it's Christmas themed this was a very Christmas themed convention and so I also paid for a charm and this is their their keychain and it also has a smaller lanyard on it which I thought was really cute so I went to this convention once before uh, about six years ago so it was nice to come back finally. And then they also give you a map of the convention center. So this was in the Marriott down there in Florida. And then they also give you the schedule just so you can follow along and all the times of like the registration hours, the vendor hours, game rooms, and artist alley. And then this is where I spent so much money and you can see it's pretty beat up but there was one, two, three, four, five different themed cocktails and after you completed all of them you receive a pin. 
So this is my prize for over $100 a worth of, uh, of drinks. So <laughs> you tell me if it was worth it or not, but the memories were worth it. I don't know if uh, spending all that money was worth the cocktails for a pin, but we, en we enjoyed ourselves. And then last but not least, this, I got also got this, and this is Howl's Moving Castle. This is from the movie, and I just thought it was so beautiful. They're just floating in the air um, with the clouds. It just looked so magical. So I can't wait to hang this up in my room. Yeah, that is all of my goodies from the convention and how much I spent. So I, at least every time I go to a convention, I learn a little bit more about my spending habits and how to be more better prepared. And the next convention, I definitely find a lot of things in the artist alley and dealer's room, so I'm definitely going to have to make sure I budget a lot more than just a hundred dollars. So wish me luck and I will see you in my next video. Bye!